Well, I'm at that age now, all my friends are getting married and married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always get, you are so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. <laughs> I took a stereo, left a Walkman. Took a plasma screen, left an Etch-a-Sketch. As I mentioned, I am from Africa. I moved here 10 years ago. And immediately I moved here, I heard a lot of British people talking about the financial crisis, the recession. I'm from Africa, what are you maniacs talking about? You call that a crisis? If that's a crisis, where is UNICEF? <laughs> where is Bono? I have not seen one save the UK concert. You can tell me it's a financial crisis when there are planes flying over Birmingham tossing fish and chips out the window. <laughs> it will be a financial crisis when there are ads on television saying this chav has to walk five miles a day to get a bottle of WKD Blue. <laughs> and 100%, you have got a financial crisis when India starts opening call centers here. <laughs> Can you imagine some poor guy in Mumbai calls his bank, ends up talking to a Brummie? <laughs> Thank you so much, Brummie. No. Oh.